Welcome to Best of Late Night, a rundown of the previous night's highlights that lets you sleep, and lets us get paid to watch comedy. If you're interested in hearing from the Times regularly about Grey TV, sign up for our watching newsletter and get recommendations straight to your inbox. Sickening. Revelation Stephen Colbert responded with disgust to reports that the White House had ignored allegations of domestic abuse against a high-level aide, Rob Porter. Both of his ex-wives have accused him of violent behavior. Porter resigned this week, but the White House has been slow to distance itself from him. Finally, on Thursday, Raj Shah, the deputy press secretary, admitted that we all could have done better dealing with this over the last few days. Porter has denied the allegations. Now. These are horrible, sickening revelations, so the White House had no choice but to defend him. Stephen Colbert is the Trump administration so desperate for people who are even mildly competent that they're willing to overlook anything. OK, it says here in your resume, that you are a meth-dealing cannibal human trafficker who runs a cockfighting ring, and proficient in Excel, that's good. Welcome aboard, Stephen Colbert Punchiest Punchlines, Prayer Breakfast Edition. The 23rd Winter Olympic Games are officially underway, even before the opening ceremony. They began the games with mixed doubles curling, that's called starting off with whatever the opposite of a bang is. Jimmy Kimmel President Trump today met with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, who is 94 years old. When Trump asked him what his secret was, Kissinger said, whispering, I committed war crimes during Vietnam, saith my ears at the National Prayer Breakfast this morning. President Trump said that religion is central to American life and liberty, at least. That's what the star he cheated on his third wife with told him. Seth Meyers The bits worth watching James Corden has an inexplicable love for the assassination of Gianni Versace. Seth Meyers recapped another whirlwind week, enjoy the weekend the Winter Olympics get into swing this weekend. You can keep up with the action at nytimes.com slash Olympics. Also, check this out Jimmy Buffett has a very specific vision for his musical, Escape to Margaritaville. A lead actor without a solid time is not a part of that vision.